Hey everybody, Don Carr here, and today I'm checking out the Boss RV200 Reverb. Like all the pedals in Boss's 200 series, it sits in between their classic single pedal and the larger three button 500 series. It's got expanded sounds and functionality versus the single pedals, but not quite as deep as the 500 series. Now with that being said, here's what it does have. It has 12 algorithms, all of the effects controls are on the face of the pedal, knobs, switches, and buttons, no menu diving to edit sounds, five presets that are easily accessed, and up to 127 total presets, mono or stereo in and out, 96K sampling rate, 32-bit conversion, and 32-bit floating point processing, MIDI in and out, and there's a jack for an expression pedal or a dual foot switch. There are also custom foot switch parameters, including warp, hold, twist, and fade. Checking out the pedal, the controls are time, which is reverb length, pre-delay, which is the amount of time before the reverb activates, effect level, which is wet dry balance, and low and high are EQ controls for the reverb. There are also buttons for the reverb density and to scroll the presets. The parameter control is unique to each algorithm. For instance, the room algorithm has four different room size options. The plate has high and low damping. Shimmer lets you adjust the diffusion on the tails to make the octaves more or less pronounced. You get the idea. I'll play through a few sounds so you can see how versatile it is. I'll start with the RV200 bypass.
The internal and external foot switches can be configured in different ways. They can scroll through the presets up and down with the press and hold function bypassing the effect. They can access the warp, twist, or fade functions and can be set toggle or momentary. The default foot switch setting for presets is to scroll through the first five presets, but you can change that to access all 127 presets. To access the menu options, hold the memory and density buttons and use the time control to scroll the options. Now, since it's only a three character display, it's a good idea to check out the owner's manual to know exactly what each menu option is. There's an option to lock the front panel so you don't accidentally change settings during a performance and the outputs can be configured in three different ways. Right now it's stereo left, right, but it can be one side dry, one side wet, or dry kill wet only if you're using it in a parallel effects setup. Thanks for checking out the Boss RV200 with me. Got a favorite sound? Let us know in the comments. And if you feel led, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, if you have any questions about this or any other Boss product, make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or check us out at sweetwater.com. Thanks.